adding little blue forget-me-nots, little filler flowers. And I've got ultramarine blue and a little white, and I just kind of rolled my brush around in the colors. And I'm just tapping with the tip of my brush very lightly. And you kind of want to scatter them. And they can go down in your bow a little bit, out over the edges. So this is just repeating a little bit of that color. And you want to see a little variety. That little blob got a little too big, so I'll break it up by adding a little white in it. So remember, there's nothing you can do that you can make a little mistake that you can't come back and fix. You can always fix it somehow. Now I want to put a little bit of a highlight on that ribbon. I'm going to use my half inch angle shader. I'm going to put a little glaze in the heel. A little bit of white in the point. You want to blend it on your palette. Back to back, right? There was some glaze I'd put down there a little earlier. So as you look at your brush, you see it's got a little white paint in the front and then the, the heel looks empty, but it's because of this little glaze. Now you're going to brush across. Easy, easy. I'm not pushing hard. Flip your brush over so it's back to back. And you've made it look a bit like satin ribbon by putting that little bit of a shine. And I do that in all of the, of the wide parts, more or less, in the center of each section. Here's the section from here to here. I'm going across. You want to keep your hairs kind of flat rather than standing your handle up in the air. Lay it down because the paint doesn't dig in. And the blend is in my brush. So the brush is doing all the work for me. I'm not having to work real hard. There's all kinds of techniques that way people do this, but I think this is a real easy way to do it.